Hey, buddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Rame. And we are going to be trying to get through this pretty quick here. I think this series has gone on long enough, and I want to get it over and done with, essentially. We have nationalism in three turns. We need to get set up to take on Mayans. Actually, I think I could skip that city, and we can get to work on Cheyenne and Arras. So we need to start maneuvering our units in a direction that makes sense to achieve those goals. Uh, let's see, do I have a unit? No, I don't really have any of the moves that I need to go do this. But we can get sort of moving in the right direction with some of these guys. We can start hitting Aras. I'm going to have you heal up there. You're going to come here. Okay, I guess you're not going to come up here, but now you are. Okay. All right, there we go. Shoot him. Uh, you may as well actually train both of these cannons while, while shooting this district because I don't think I need them. Well, they will be just be combining, but whatever. You got a flank on that guy. You got the kill. Nice one. You're going to heal up there. Going to just get most of these guys to heal up. Just you guys just hang around there. Get that great general moved up a little bit. Why is there a unit in this city that I cannot get rid of? Okay, that was weird. Um, get that pikeman up there. He can't quite make it, but that's okay. Alright, so you guys are just hanging out here. And you're gonna head up this way. Okay. We can buy another frigate next turn. I'm gonna send you around this way, actually. Because I need more out that way. We're gonna keep going this way. Keep going this way. You guys keep heading along. You guys can't really do much, that's fine. If I have a few more in here, I'll be in good shape. Let's get you to kill there. Have you got a promotion? You do. Can you move there and promote? You can. All right, we'll take Arrowstorm. I'm going to get you over here onto this hill. Let's get you to... Is that a hill? I can't tell. I think it's not. So you will be able to take Thrust, which will keep you safe against these um, melee units. We're going to get you in here, flank and kill there. Let's get our cuirassiers on the move. I'll get you to heal for one turn. I'm going to put you there. And then we're off to a really good start. Uh, I'm going to trade with Rane once again. And you're going to fortify there and absorb those hits. You're going to come and rejoin the front line. You have one build charge. Why don't you go build a mine there? You get up to the front line, as shall you... Get up to the front line, you're just going to hang out there. You get up onto the roads, you are going to settle there. Take a moment for that to happen, but it did happen. I put a farm there, I'm just going to throw some farms down this city. We'll go for the granary, and then the uh, the bayet. We'll put a, we'll put like an encampment here or something, and then that'll make this impossible to pass. Although, you know, why would you ever want to go up to Constantinople? Because it, there's no Constantinople city. Oh dear, uh, let's see if we can find a retreat path. There we go, we got you away. Let's go ahead and I'm not sure why this city can't shoot. Well, it probably already shot this turn actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But hey, you know, these are the things that we that we do do. Excuse me, did you say do do? Why, yes, I didn't say do do. Why? Do you find do do to be funny? Any funny do do business? My word. I'm sorry, I'm full of beans. All right. Make peace. Nope. I will make peace with you uh, when you are basically dead. Looks like there might be another city here. I'm going to count that as... I'm going to count these two cities as not needing to be captured. Losing units, again, doesn't matter. We have completely shattered everyone's military that we have uh, gone up against. If we check here... Cyrus did have like 6,000, he's down to 3,000, so we've halved his army size, which is pretty damn successful, if you don't mind me saying so myself. Military academies will be available soon. I'm not sure they're even going to be worth building, or if we're going to get any value out of them. I mean, I might go for them somewhere if it's like sub-10 turns, but it's a questionable investment as far as I can tell at this minute. Uh-huh. All right. Whoa. With the leg. Alright, goodbye. So we have 
Still have some naval issues to deal with. We will be able to purchase another frigate. Yep. As I was hoping, you guys charged into blindly. Uh, into him blindly. I'm going to kill there with you, and then kill there with you. And that'll, that'll be all groovy. Groovy or gravy? Who knows? Hey, there's Fez. It was a game made by Phil Fish. Who... Did he commit career suicide? I don't know. I don't I don't pay attention to egomaniacs. I've got enough egomaniacs in my life, and that's me. <laughs> There's only room for one. Okay, finally, Alexander, we are out of the thing. Please, for the love of all that is holy, give me peace. Holy crap. Do you know how much war weariness that's going to get rid of for me? That's going to get rid of so much war weariness. So many of these cities down here have war weariness from that, I think. Like, if we go check here, look at that nine war weariness from filing Alexander. All because he got that stupid emergency. Alright. And let's shoot a Ras. Put you there, shoot that guy. Can you get to there? And then shoot that guy. And then shoot the city. Where's my great general? Move you forward to provide attack power to these guys, and you go here. Okay. You pillage that farm, you cycle around, you go there. More or less got us around on this city, just need one more melee unit. Right there, and there we go, that's that handled. Uh, you build a bank here at Rami. Um, let's just fill out our traders, we've got a few more. And we'll just click the first thing that's up there. Looks like it's Rame. Then we are going to grab a bank in here. Accidentally clicked off, but there we go. Bank. And you are going to build a lighthouse. Very good. Very good. We have an armory in here. Very nice. That means the city could now produce units for me. I would like to get a bath. It'll take two turns. That's fine. Uh, similarly, I'd like to get a bath in here. It'll take two turns. That's also fine. We could get a factory in here. I don't need to. This city is rebuilt. It's going to be able to do whatever it needs to do, which is make units for me. Uh, chiefly, some kind of unit that I already have a decent amount of. Uh, field cannons sound good. Ancient walls. Get yourself a bath, you stinky boy. Uh, pillage those trade routes. You wait there, you wait there. Have I got another cannon? I can move up to here, not really. You may as well just do damage to this district with these guys, get that little bit of experience. Um, why don't you get up to here? We move some of these guys a little bit closer. You shoot there, you shoot there. Uh, you don't actually need to be quite so close, so you'll make room for more of these cannon units. I don't think I can shoot over that tile. I think that's a forested tile, which is unfortunate. But nonetheless, it, you know, we're getting there. Bring you up to here, you'll be useful next turn. Uh, you go there. Alright, most of these guys are just going to be waiting because they don't have shots. You did have a shot, which is good. I guess now is actually not a terrible time to start hitting the city. Reduce the fortifications to nothing. Shave a couple turns off killing it, maybe. Um, so definitely, you can get that kill and you're unpromoted, so we will get that kill. You're going to get that kill there. You're going to get that kill there. You're going to get that kill there. And you are going to get that shot there. Then we are going to come in here and we're going to purchase another frigate because we need to keep churning those out. Actually, frigates are even cheaper than I thought, and I have a bunch of gold now. So let's go frigate mad. These frigates should be able to make a nice difference up here. You keep moving. Okay, actually, out of curiosity, how is England's army slash navy? Uh, they're down to 1,600, so I, I, can, I imagine I'm thinning them out pretty heavily. Okay, let's get you guys moving. I have not really any shots here. Oh, these guys switched to who they are suzerain to. So you shoot there. I could move forward, I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to take emplacement and move you forward. 
And then I'm gonna get use this query seer to kill there. I'll flank around. Get you to there. And then I'll flank around even harder, like so. Nice. Then I'll bring this cannon up to there. And I can bring my great general to this tile. And he'll be in range of that cannon. I'll get a shot off on the city, rip down the walls. Then I can bring the great general back over this way to provide benefits to these cannons. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cross the river with you. I'm going to go here. And can I get a kill with this guy? I can. Get you to here. Shoot there. Get you to there. You guys are going to be coming this way, you're going to come around the top, you're going to come through the middle, well, middle-ish. You're going to come over here, you're going to come over here, you're going to, not quite where I wanted to put you, but right there is fine. Uh, let's put you forward a tile, I think. Okay, you can't quite reach another tile, so that's fine. Can't get in there to do anything. If I don't need my navy for anything. I may as well start a war with Nubia in the next turn or two to uh, start killing all of her units off. Um, I will want to have something defending this city. And a machine gun might do the trick. Gatling gun even. Does a lot of damage. Okay. But we might have the units we need to fight Nubia soon. Uh, let's get this Chris here moving. You're right there. If Quill 18 was cavalry, he would be a Quillisir. <laughs> I'll be here all week, folks. Alright. Let's head up that way. We'll go there. Then you're going to build a mine there. That's fine. Then you're going to go over here and build a mine. There we go. You are going to pop it in there and heal up. And then you're going to build another farm because that's what you do. You're going to settle there to be annoying. You're going to chop all this territory. Get that granary on the go. Uh, let's get you moving up this way. Then you're going to come up this way. You are going to kill here. You're going to come forward and kill there. That will get us started on that. Let's put you in this city and we'll go to the next turn. Unit needs orders up here. I guess a lot of these units that are left over don't really have moves. Well, they have moves, right? But they don't have what I would call useful moves. It's, it, it's an important distinction. Like, it's possible for a unit... It's possible for you to be able to do something, but for it to have no consequence on the outcome of the game. And that's what I call a non-useful move or a useless move, right? And I, I often get asked... In the comment section after a video, it's like, oh, why didn't you do X with this? Or why didn't you do Y with that? And it's like, you know, you can get this if you do this. And I'm like, well, I don't need to do that. It's not a useful move. It doesn't advance the cause of the game for me. Now, there are times that I do do, heh, do do. I do, um, I do do useless moves. And that's when I am trying to keep myself entertained when I'm playing a game. I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll just build a library here because it'll be fun, you know? And I'll kind of, I'll kind of just float around and do whatever I feel like and, that's pretty handy too, sometimes. Alright. So. Aras and Chayen should fall soon. Then it'll be on to the great cité of, well, country of England, really. Not the city of England is my city. My god, I can't believe I still remember that meme. We still getting tired, boys. The Roman Empire in Africa is looking a little bit sparse, but you know. Otherwise, it's it's doing pretty well. Where did where did you even come from? Are you for real? There's a barb camp right there. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So let's get some production chosen. Actually, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna handle these moves here. Right, you go there. You fortify there. Choose production. We just got a bank in some boar. I could go for the forbidden meme. Um, instead, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more musketmen to replace my replenish my front lines. I'm going to get you to make me a cuirassier. You're going to make me repair that harbor. You are going to go for the bank. 
You are going to go for... More Quirisiers. You have a bank, you can't really build much else, so let's go ahead and get our hands on some more cavalry. Let's see, you've probably got some stuff that you can do. I have this guy over here. One more turn into nationalism, which will mean that we can start combining a lot of these units together. Uh, let's make sure we get this kill right there. Let's move carefully on these guys. So they don't get exposed and isolated on their own. Uh, let's push you out. And shoot this guy, you're going to heal up, you're going to heal up, then you're going to, you're going to retreat to here, and fortify, you're going to shoot this city, you're going to shoot this city, that was the wrong unit that I retreated somehow, I don't know how I managed to do that, can you get back in here and attack the city please? No, wow, okay. Can you go there? Can you go there? Can you come this way? Then I can bring this guy across the river. He can also get a shot and then we can slam this city again and hopefully kill it. Okay, so Kans is down. Chayen or whatever it's called. Let's shoot there, shoot there, attack here, attack here. That should wipe out that city. And we can peace out France next turn. Liberate to the Netherlands. The Netherlands was in this game. They just got murderized. All right, we will keep that city. We will keep that city too. All right, repair that monument. Repair the granary. Repair the water mill. Do all that stuff. Let's go here. Monument, granary, water mill, etc., etc., etc. All right, you go this way. All right, we've got a great merging to do here. We're going to merge up all our army um, just to increase the, the power per tile, which is how much power I have on each tile of my combat army. Can we even do something about this guy? Not really. Oh well. Take crew weapons, give you a little bit of defense strength. Uh, rest of these guys are going to wait until next turn. So we can tote my goats to declare war on Nubia here. Probably should have pillaged for the heal with that guy before I ended the war. Or, well, captured my final objective, essentially. Do some damage there. You're going to heal up there. You may as well head over to the western, eastern front. So I think the northern front is more or less handled, which is why I don't mind packing all these units together to save on upkeep, because I think uh, a combined unit is worth uh, one gold per turn in saved upkeep compared to having two units uncombined. I think that's like the average or whatever. Let's take that extra combat strength when defending. You get over to here, you'll also take that, and then you're going to... Uh, I don't want to expose you to danger, unnecessary danger at least. I mean, the entire war is dangerous, but it would be silly for me to be like, I don't want my soldiers to be in trouble and danger. Um, that's their whole job, but like, I mean, excessive or unnecessary danger. Get over there. Okay. Get this Quirisir into a forward position. Let's get you to there. And you're going to come up this way. You're going to wait there. You're going to start flanking this city. You're going to come up on top of this guy. Let you go there. I want you forward a little so that these two guys can shoot the city. I'm going to get you to pillage there, you'll wait there, you come down into this city to give me the loyalty that I need to keep that city. Okay, we're on a good track right now. So let's get nice and spaced out to take out all of these uh, Nubian transports. <sighs> Be quite the battle. Um... Actually, we have a lot of walls everywhere. 
there's gonna be it's gonna be an expensive war to go to war with Nubia, but it will uh it will be fruitful pretty quick because most of the units are in the water. And we can push down into Persia. I think I'll just cut it off like here and say I know the Roman Empire probably like realistically went all the way out to like here-ish, but I'm just gonna like swing down here, take the coast, and then take Egypt and we'll call it a game. Because this has gone on long enough, which is why I'm trying to speed things along just a little bit, but without sacrificing like the actual intrigue and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's more that this game has been going on for a long time. Uh, I'm not necessarily bored of it, but I, I'm kind of like, you know, the, the excitement has worn off a little bit and I kind of want to, I want to get a new game started. I've got new ideas that I want to try out. I've got new new experiences that I want to show you guys and all that stuff. I know I could be wrong. Again, this is like a really fun game. But you know, we've, we've been having a fun, we've been playing this fun game for a while and just, you know, after a while they, this is getting a little bit less interesting. Alright, so goodbye. Uh, Persia is still managing to kill the occasional unit here or there, however their army is now down to 2,500. France has basically nothing as far as I can tell, so I'll be able to piece them out pretty easily. Uh, the real worry is how many boats does Victoria really have between here and England? It doesn't look like a huge. It doesn't look like a huge amount. However, there are limited landing spots. Um, if we take a look at uh, England, you know you can see there's very few places where you can actually step up into the uh, English city. So I might have to take a city like Exeter with my navy before I can really. Get my role, get my mojo in place for, uh, for Englandia. Alright, Swordsman did some damage, however that guy should heal. There we go, there's a plus 10. And then I'll be able to kill him with this. Oh, rifle Muskman, not a Rifleman. They're not Rifleman yet, they, they will be Rifleman. In the not too distant future, you can see here replaceable parts. Although 15 turns is actually quite distant future when you're in a game that you know each turn takes upwards of 10 minutes. Well, I think I'm actually getting through them quite quickly here. Um, so I could go for retainers. I think what I want is professional. No, not professional army. Unit maintenance, one per turn is pretty good. Um, let's put in Grand Army. We have the harbor, we have liberalism. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I kind of want to put Republican Legacy in, but it's not a thing that I can do right now. Okay. So we have ourselves set up. Now we need to get to civil engineering I think that's the one that gives me extra stuff there's also the national industrial complex um, neighborhoods I need all of these sorts of things so I think what I'm gonna do is let's head up to civil engineering and see what comes of that okay we got another trader in Rome I'm just gonna go click on a city at random Oop, Lucyria trade Um, I want you to build me some horsemen. Frigates. Nubia needs to be fought with uh, frigates, I think. Uh, you have a market over here. Let's get that bank for the gold. More banks. Library. Could you build like a land unit? Probably not. I mean, I guess I could get an entertainment hub on you. Uh, probably better to get a industrial zone here. There's a plus three one right there. Art Museum Bank, Factory, go for it. Uh, we finished a Quirisir. Let's get some more Quirisirs. <laughs> My Warwick Granada. That's not right. Granada? Stop being at war with me. Uh, we completed the bath over here. Let's trade. We'll just repeat the route. Wham. Then we are going to 
grab that tile right there. Thinking a plus three commercial hub would be pretty good in this city. Let's go ahead and repair that granary. You're going to come up this way. So we're going to start just like combining units um, pretty aggressively to, to thin out my numbers. Let's talk to France. Make a piece. Just give me literally all your stuff. Okay, hello. All your money. All your gold. Seed all your cities. Okay, you won't give me your luxuries. But I was close. Wham. Well, thank you. So we now have peace with France. Uh, let's just start really aggressively combining units without really much regard of trying to preserve promotions. Now, I know some people don't agree with that, but I'm more just trying to make my army smaller than I am trying to preserve promotions. Um, I will try to preserve, like, really highly promoted people. Like, with extra range and stuff. Or who are close to a level up. But the likes of this guy, he's not, he's not close to a level up. Like, for example, these two guys. A six and a zero is a good combine. I'm going to turn this army into a nice, big, lady shade. Do I have any promoted infantry? Not really. So I'll just get these guys to combine. There's a one and a two here. Let's get these guys to combine. Nice. I have this guy. Let's combine these. Let's get a musketman up here. You go there, combine together. I need another pikeman. We'll combine these guys. I have unpromoted ships, so I'm going to shoot with you. Then I'm going to swoop you in and combine it. Nice. You're going to come back. You're going to move up. Shoot. You're going to promote. Bam. You're going to shoot there. You're going to pull him back inside you. Now I have more units moving up. You've already moved, so you're going to combine with this guy. You're going to move up here and combine with this guy. So I end up with four frigates, really, really, four really, really strong frigates. And we are going to add a couple of caravels to that mix. Over time, not right now. Um, okay, we're combining our armies. I have a plus... Four cannon over here and a plus three cannon. I don't want to waste those promotions. Particularly because this guy is actually pretty close to a better range. Do you have plus range? I guess I don't care that much. I could have probably been more efficient. So I'll just I'll lose those promotions. That's okay. You come this way. Combine together. Okay, musketeer. Keep me up. Musketeer. Good stuff. Uh, yep. Continue trading with Rame. Just fortify there like a good boy. Uh, right. So I have some unpromoted frigates here. Let's make sure we preserve as many of these promotions as we can. But we combine. All right. Nubia. Uh, cast this belly. Form a war. Boom. Takes a moment for the game to be like, oh, you're actually declaring war. Okay. Yeah, we're going to start the war with Nubia. We need to kill her. We have some boats in position. We'll be able to get to work on that. I think she does have an ironclad floating around somewhere, so that's something we have to be a little bit conscious of. A lot of her stuff in the water right now is just units, though, so we'll be able to butcher them um, before they ever reach the shore. Hopefully, at least that's the plan. Uh, whether or not it goes that way. No. These things can, can, uh, I'd like to, I'd like to declare war. There we go. Okay, sometimes the game, when, when you've got a really big game like this, it takes the game a moment to be like, oh, you want to do a thing? Hold on, let me think about that for a bit. All right, so let's start killing off some of these units that are in the water.
Nice. So we've killed off a bunch of units. We also need to consolidate my eastern front, but I think I'm actually a little bit happier having more units out here. But I can do some cheeky stuff like attack and then combine this guy into him to make him stronger and harder to kill. And then do that again over here like this. And then I have two really, really strong frontline units. Um, I'm going to pull you back to here. Let's scooch you forward. Shoot there. Right, good stuff. Scoot you forward. Let's shoot that city. Let's shoot that city. Let's shoot that city. You're going to clean that up. Then you're going to swoop in and combine with this pikeman. Like this. Then you. So if I can get this kill, I can get you to here and combine. That'll make this guy much harder to kill. And I can shoot here twice. Take that city. I should have taken it with a different unit, but it all works out roughly the same in the end. Then I can push you in here, kill that guy, push this guy behind you and combine into him to make him stronger. I can come forward, I can shoot there, and then there, and then push a weaker unit up behind you. I kind of want to keep you because I think you have two shots, right? Let me check that. No, so I don't mind combining you in. That's fine. Um, so I want to do this sort of... I want to I want to just get use out of my, my units, if you know what I mean. We will keep that city. We'll keep that city. We're going to choose our production here. Get these repairs going on. And similarly repair all this stuff in here. Don't really need to spend my governor titles on anything. Um, what you get miss moving there, you go there, once you combine with this guy, you move there. Okay, you guys have all moved, that's fine. You wait there. Sure, settle there, be annoying. Seems like fun to me. There's an ironclad roaming around. Can I get a trader in here? I can. Okay. Let's get this Quirrus here moving. The Quirrus here is moving out. You're going to wait there. Not much I can do with you. No money. Harbor. Go. Harbor. Nice. Nice job. Okay, so I got a couple units. I don't have anything to combine with. That's fine. Totally normal. We'll make a pike and shot for the sake of combining it. You shoot there, get that little bit of experience. You're going to kill there. You're still healing. That's fine. Go clean that out so that it stops spawning stuff. Um, go kill that. Then you are going to find something weak to kill. I'm more scared of knights than I am of pikemen. So we'll make sure we get those guys knocked out. Okay, some privateers floating around doing damage. And there's also an ironclad doing damage. Although my, with my city's healing, I think it will outheal this ironclad. And it, it shouldn't be able to kill my city. Sh shouldn't. Being the, uh, the operative word here. But he should have a much harder time actually killing my units now that they're all combined and stuff. And he's going to take more damage as he tries to kill my units, so that's a pretty big advantage for me. It does mean I have less actions per turn, but it means my actions that I that I do make are more impactful um, when I'm directly interacting with my enemy. This field cannon, for example, is going to be able to absolutely slaughter units because it has 70 combat strength, which is insane! It's an insane amount of combat strength! Really, really nice. All right. Yeah. So they're going to have a hard time killing these guys now because they are so advanced in terms of their, um, you know, their, their 50, like 65 base combat strength for shooting and then 55 for defense. So they basically have the defense of a caravel, but the offense of a better unit. 
Not to mention they have all those other, you know, promotions and all that other just stuff that makes them hard to deal with. Um, how is Cyrus's army? He's down to 2,000 and it is down to... Okay, so we are whittling down their armies piece by piece. It's just taking a while. Making 600 ducats a turn. I say ducats because I've been playing EU4. <laughs> Um, yeah, it looks like we're still suffering a decent amount of war exhaustion, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. We do have negative amenities in a few places. But I think we should be able to survive that. Um, so you're going to shoot, and then you're going to swoop in and combine with him, then you're going to shoot. You're going to shoot there, you're going to shoot there. I have a frigate. Who's going to come up here and combine with you? And I have a caravel. I'm going to kill that guy. Go ahead and get me a bank. I need this stuff. Go ahead and get me a frigate. Get it moving. Kill whatever you can on the way. Shipyard completed. More frigates. Um, spy has been completed. So let's grab... A, another spy will send this spy probably over to Scythia to steal money from Scythia. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Although Germany is actually quite a good spot to steal money from too. 3,800 gold from their commercial hub over there. Let's, uh, let's get more traders. I built an encampment here. Let's get a barracks up. Let's get the ancient walls up over there. We'll get ancient walls here just to keep these cities defended. Because they are struggling otherwise. Uh, you're going to keep moving up here. You're going to move up this way. You're going to move up this way as well. Okay. And then you kill these admirals. They're being annoying. Okay, we need to figure out where we're going to be launching from, and I think I'm going to position... I think I'm going to position an artillery over here. Do you want to do open borders? So you can move that goddamn great general out of my way. So let's get you moved up over here a bit. Um, oh, this city can shoot across the channel and hammer Exeter. And then we're going to have a couple of units, a couple of these guys sitting by to support the, um, the heavy cannon. And then I'm going to have this guy also supporting. We're going to get a landing party, um, or a departing party or whatever you want to call it. We're going to have a group of units essentially ready to jump across the channel uh, on my mark. I want you guys to hang out here. We're kind of waiting for the naval support before we really kind of do the thing that we need to do. But for now, we're okay. Um, how useful are you? Renaissance and Industrial. So you're still pretty useful for a while. Move up this way. Come up this way. That's fine. You come up here, then you put mine there. I don't know who owns that tile. Probably better to give it to you. You can actually make use of it. You just wait there. Alright, so there is a couple of privateers here that I need to get rid of. You're going to back up. You're going to come in and have a look. Okay, so we're going to push forward here. Get the kill with you. Then we'll come in here, shoot there. I'll bring this guy over to shoot there. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. Let's make sure we're killing off these units. Particularly the weak, the stronger ones are harder to kill, so we want to make sure that we're getting those while they're in the water, because they're pretty easy pickings in the water. You're going to heal over there. You are going to heal up there. Okay, you have a pillage and you can attack. However, if you pillage, you will not have much room to attack. 
see if I attack here you're less likely to take damage than I can kill there you can shoot there I'd meant to shoot that guy but it's all the one let's kill this knight and this swordsman you fortify there you kill there you come into here Okay, get you guys moving. You're gonna heal up there. Once you jump in here, combine with this guy. You jump in there. Let's get this pikeman more close to the front line. Let's get you up here to combine with them. You come over here. Shoot that city. Start hammering down its walls. Okay, nice. Uh, we'll bring this next Quiris here over. See if we can't get more kills or at least soften up units. Nice, there's a Carvel here. Send you over there. Come down here, look for stuff to fight. You guys heal up while you're here. City ranged attack, nice. City ranged attack. Okay, we got that kill. Fez is in pretty bad shape. <laughs> it's being surrounded by barbarian longswords. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Ooh. I'm sleepy. Alright. It's pretty late at the moment. Just the way the cookie crumbles, my dude. Twelve AM. Come on! Let me take my turn, god damn it! Ooh, I'm a yawny boy. All right, here we go. Let's get this handled. He's gotta be, he's gotta be getting real low. Yeah, he's down to 2,000 military score in terms of units. She's down to 1,300, so we gotta be really ripping through these uh, military units at a pretty rapid rate for them to be falling that quick. Really need to get Exeter. Need these units all in position and stuff like that too. I don't know what to tell you, Germany. You tried, you conquered this city. I don't know, like what, like what were you expecting? Uh, I'll recruit that guy just because whatever. Uh, let's get ancient walls in here. I guess that would be actually be a pretty good idea. Um, okay. <clears throat> Why is your production so crap? You're losing 30% to amenities. That makes sense. If I put you on production focus, it helps a little bit. Who's even using this mine? Listen, you need this mine. Production focus. Dunzo jumped up a bit there. Get that shipyard for a bit more production. Uh, let's see, you got a monument in here. Okay, go ahead and get that bot. Do I want to kill that weak tile? Sure, I'll kill that weak tile. It's worth an amenity. Kill here. Uh, what do you even do? Cool. Do that thing. Hey, I have oil. Nice. Oh man, what are you doing in my territory? You're a pretty easy kill. France, I need you to move that great general. You for real? Alright, whatever.
begin the Operation Wade into the Sea. What we need to have are units with range backing up all these melee units going into the water. Which we will have at least a non-zero amount of those. Loyalty. Uh, let's reassign Victor over to that newest city. Wait, what was it? Did I go too far down? Are you right? Really? There's a few that are actually flipping. It's okay. This one here needs a happiness boost. Good God. Does this help? Not really. Um, could I move Moksha there? Sure. Wait, I want to move him here. Like, what is this city called, even? August. When the hell did I take that? Why is it listed? <laughs> this is a stupid name. Like the game is like, no, that name is way too long. You're you're doing a different city. I oh, know I don't care. Well, there it is, okay. Alright, get moving, buddy. Alright, nice. Then you're going to come down this way. Okay, nice one. You're gonna come down this way. You're heading across here. Should have built a thingy for that unit to jump up there pretty easily. You're dead. We're getting kills. Nice. Navy is pushing forward. Won't be long now until we're hitting Exeter. Uh, France has decided to be the single most obnoxious person in the entire universe. Congratulations, France. Good job. Mission accomplished. You have done a thing. Why aren't you in the water? How is it being annoying? Of course, that's the answer. It's always the answer. Why didn't somebody do something sensible? Because they're being annoying. It's the only answer that ever makes sense. As far as I'm concerned. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, ironclad. More like iron bad. Got him. Roasted. No escape from my deadly, deadly Bodorinos. All right, let's get started on the western side and work our way inwards. Let's about kill what we can when we, when we catch them. All right, choose production over here. Let's get that granary up. Don't care about that. You're gonna go ahead and try to run away. Are you for real, knight? Running around causing me problems like a jerk. Uh, sh put a farm there. Oh, I had a really, really strange urge there to get like a chicken curry. Mm. You ever get that? You ever just be sitting around and your brain just goes, you know what would be great right now? That takeaway food that's really bad for you and is really unhealthy. And it's really expensive. You should you should get all for all of those reasons. You should get some. And I'm I stupidly some somewhere in my head I'm like yeah that actually that kind of makes sense actually. You know that I think about it. Yeah, I should totally just like fill my gut with horrible food. <laughs> it's not it's not horrible food. It's horrible for you. You know. Um, shoot there, shoot there, man. Pillage for health. I'm going to get you to fall back. Take a promotion. You're going to swing in there. Kill that unit. You're going to come in here and kill that unit. You're going to kill there. Then you're going to kill there. Okay, we're making great progress. Ever since we combined our units, it makes them way, 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 way stronger. A lot of people can be a little bit squeamish about getting rid of, like, oh, I have so many units and I don't want to get rid of them. But uh, it, it actually makes you way way stronger.
All right. Uh, may as well kill there. That's a lot of pikemen. That is a lot more pikemen than I had thought there was there because I thought there was zero pikemen, and there is a lot more than zero pikemen. Um, which is concerning. I thought there was zero pikemen. There is, in fact, three pikemen. That's infinitely more pikemen than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> um, but while we're in the turn transition, I'm going to go ahead and call this an end to the episode. We've made really, really good progress. We only have a few more cities to take here from Persia. We have to take... Uh, I'm, I'm going to call it at, like, maybe, like, these four cities. Then we'll call that, like, that's good for the Eastern Roman Empire. Like, I know it probably went all the way out to here or something, but... Listen... I gotta go to bed at some point, right? It's it's midnight. Give me a break. What if I just lose a unit? That's actually pretty devastating. Losing you okay, so earlier on in the game losing a unit wasn't a big deal, but now losing a unit's pretty rough. And then once I have that, then there's only two things really left to do. That's to conquer uh Egypt and to conquer England. And both of those are seemingly coming along at, at some sort of a rate. I don't know. Is it a good rate? Is it a bad rate? Second rate, first rate, third rate, who knows? But Hell it's happening. Slowly but surely, we are, we are, uh, we are do, 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 um, winning. We are kicking ass, taking names, uh, chewing bubblegum, all that jazz. Um, but we don't play jazz. Do you like jazz? All right, so I'll call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!